It's during the summer months, many people are spending time outdoors, especially here in San Diego, which sometimes means, unfortunately, sunburns. What do you do after you get burned, though? And more importantly, how do we prevent burns in the first place? Dr. Melanie Palm from Art of Skin MD joining us this morning to tell us how to do this. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It's good to see you again, Kristen. Good to see you. Uh, so many people outdoors during the mm. summertime, and, and it doesn't matter. You know, you could put sunscreen on in the morning and then forget to put it on later in the day, and you still get burned. Yeah, and now we're in, you know, May gray, June gloom even though it's cloudy, you're still getting about 80% of the sunshine. So even on these days, we really want to protect the skin. So what is a sunburn exactly? So sunburn is sort of that tender response. And basically what's happening is you're getting ultraviolet radiation, UVA and UVB. The UVB more causes some of that redness. Mm -hmm. And at a cellular level, when you actually get this red response, it means you've sort of cooked the proteins in mm. your skin cells. So it's not a good thing. It's sort of an alarm bell for you. So when you first start noticing that little bit of pinkness, that's when you need to get out of the sun. Okay, so it's never good and it's really painful, but you do have a solution that you do in your office that yes. we're going to kind of demonstrate yeah. on your husband here today. Uh, yes, your so Bill is pig. being our good, big <laughs> guinea pig. And this is the Lutronic um, red diode. It's 830 nanometers. It's a light source, not a laser. Okay. And we use it post-treatment for redness after all sorts of laser procedures, but it's great and you've got your goggles on. Um, as just a quick six-minute treatment, for the face or the back. We've already done it on several patients. We had some people getting ready for big occasions and got a sunburn because of the great weather. Uh -huh. And um, it's really quick, doesn't hurt, just feels a little bit warm, but tames some of that inflammation. So we use it in an off-label manner for this, but it works really well with sunburns. Okay, and I know there's a lot of creams and products that people can be using at home that they can purchase yes. uh, to help a sunburn as well. And what are some of those? So some of the active things, as soon as you notice a sunburn, one of the first things you should do is try and pop some ibuprofen. If you use that during the first 40 hours it's an anti-inflammatory so it not only helps with that pain but it also sort of quells that reaction that's mm. going in your skin may help you repair a little bit faster. Mm. A dermatologist can give you several steroid creams and those are really helpful as anti-inflammatories bringing down the redness. Hydrocortisone at home can save the, um, be the same purpose, but then people are going to flake afterwards. Mm. So I talk to patients about good moisture. There are lots of things over the counter that have ceramides, which are these natural fats that kind of moisturize our skin, especially if we're exfoliating after a sunburn. Sure. And then there's lots of pre prevention sort of things that we can talk about as well. Okay, yeah, very important, obviously, to prevent sunburns in the first place. So this is what you do if you get a sunburn. You either go see Dr. Palm or use these creams at home. Um, what do we do to prevent it? Yeah, so interestingly, there's been some studies looking at botanicals. So there's something called HelioCare, which is um, a fern extract. Hmm. And um, there's been a clinical study done that showed when people took this orally as a supplement, it actually decreased the response to a sunburn. So it should never be used in place of sun protection and mm. good sunscreen, but it's Something, you know, for example, my husband's a redhead. When we go on vacation, I have him take it every day to kind of prevent some of that and decrease some of that threshold for the sunburn. Um, there's also some evidence that having green tea in your diet because it's an antioxidant is really helpful. Hmm. And some of the sunscreens that are out, including some of these, actually have things like vitamin C and vitamin E to help with that. And then obviously good sunscreens, things that have zinc in them. Mm -hmm. There's even brush applications that are really nice and don't make you sweaty and oily. And keep reapplying. I think yes. that's the number one thing. So obviously during the summertime people want to look their best and mm -hmm. um, what are you the most busy with at your practice because she does all sorts of things yeah I mean I think during the summer people have sort of the, the legs are showing lots of skin showing so mm -hmm. things like um, sclerotherapy which is injection of the veins is sometimes popular dealing with pigment although it's a little more challenging because we're in sunny weather so I always want to be really careful for that mm -hmm. and then we just got done doing sort of a melanoma awareness month so lots of skin checks which I think is great you know we actually detected or just at my clinic alone mm. this past month. And having a sunburn actually doubles your risk of melanoma. Mm. And about 42% of us every year gets a sunburn. So it's something that we're just not doing as good of a job as we should be protecting ourselves. Definitely try to protect yourself. Go uh, make an appointment, Dr. Melanie Palmy. You're located right in Solana Beach. Yep. Beautiful office. Go in and see her and she'll do a check for you. And just to make sure that you're, you're doing okay, it's just oh. nice for that peace of mind. Absolutely. Thank you so much for Thank coming. Thank you for having us. Good to see you.